Everyone is right, but how you argue is another subject. Let's start with Jimmy Kimmel. It's Jimmy's job to make us all laugh. I watched a video attached for the assignment and cannot believe how angry people got just for being made fun of. I had to do it. I found the original skits that Jimmy did that made all the gamers mad. I also have watched those videos, but I'll talk about that later. In Jimmy's original video, he explained how he didn't understand how people could watch other people play a game. I showed my dad the original and asked him his opinion, and he agreed with Jimmy. Jimmy said when he was young, he only watched people play video games when he ran out of quarters. My dad also said, yes, I did too. My dad also said that he watched also because he had to wait his turn. All Jimmy did was, in a funny way, tease this new idea that came out on YouTube over five years ago. I agree that the gamers who replied to Jimmy had every right to go back at Jimmy. What I did not agree with was the anger in the posts that Jimmy showed. Jimmy wasn't mean about it. He was just funny. If he wants someone to understand, he had to convince them, not curse at them. I like the Let's Play assignment. The way I feel is that I wish the angry gamers would have given him reasons why it's important today to watch those videos. For example, the first time I watched a gamer play a video game was because I wanted to see it played before I got it. I also wanted to know and see how the players passed certain levels. There have been times I would be stuck on a level and could not figure out how to complete it. Watching a video of someone completing it helped me. I think the importance of gamers that stream their gameplay now is all about the money. For example, YouTubers who have millions of followers get free consoles, TVs, and games because they are doing commercials for the gaming companies. I don't think it started that way, but I see my favorite YouTubers giving away gaming consoles all the time. Finally, yes, Let's Play has changed. I went from playing with action figures, blocks, and playing in tents to organizing a group chat on Instagram to get ready to play Among Us online with my friends. And nobody saw each other.